Another law the governor signed is facing a legal challenge. Anti-abortion groups filed a lawsuit against the attorney general about a law to crack down on crisis pregnancy centers. They're asking for a temporary restraining order and injunctions to stop it from going into effect as it goes through the courts. State Capitol reporter Theodora Kulavaris explains. Anti-abortion groups wasted no time fighting back against a new law aimed at crisis pregnancy centers. They filed their lawsuit less than an hour after the governor signed the legislation. Senate Bill 1909 was intended to frighten and chill the speech of pro-life advocates across our state. Crisis pregnancy centers are nonprofits that oppose abortion. Some provide services like pregnancy tests or counseling, while others offer limited medical services like ultrasounds. The goal of these centers is simple. They're trying to get people in their doors to stop them from having abortions. What's so damaging is that many of these fake clinics provide misleading and medically inaccurate information. The new law would change that, prohibiting these centers from using misinformation or deceptive practices to prevent people from getting abortion and other reproductive health services. Every time they violate the law, they could face up to a $50,000 fine. Don't have uh, large amounts of money uh, to face them with $50,000 fines, injunctions, and even orders to dissolve. Uh, the whole point of SB 1909 was to uh, end pregnancy centers in Illinois as we know it. Representing anti-abortion groups in the lawsuit, the Thomas More Society says the law is unconstitutional. Under the First Amendment, the General Assembly can't discriminate based on viewpoint. And here, only pro-life speech is targeted. Abortion speech is uh, exempted. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavars. The Attorney General says there are about a hundred crisis pregnancy centers in the state. Under the law, his office will be the one investigating complaints against the centers.